they used to gain a kingdom and empire, but they were defeated by the British. In the case of Igbo land, if you study your history, what happened there was that it wasn't an empire. People were in different communities. The British had difficulties penetrating because they discovered that if you conquer Newe, if you convince people in the Newe to sign up to be part of whatever you're setting up, that the people in the Nobi, it's a different community. You have to begin from the from the beginning again and convince them. So, so historically, what you were saying is totally not not right. That's why the way I thought that people would take on you. What I said was actually accurate. I just read it not long ago, so it's fresh in my memory. No, no, no. Why do you always pick and choose the book you read? Why must you pick and choose? All of them. All of them. Uh, Rudolph, I didn't want to respond to that because I wanted to tell you that all of them after this session, I will provide evidence for everything. AJ, hold on. always writing the evil history. I don't know why. You always write the evil AJ, history. Hold on. AJ, hold on. Forefathers, the other thing is this eh? I teach African history, post colonial African mm -hmm. history. And you never say one thing for the whole of Africa. Africa is so wide. Even Nigeria is so wide. What happened in Bini Kingdom is different from what happened in. Uh, the kingdom, the um, Bedugri, the Kanuri, different from what happened in it. So you can't generalize. You can't do that in African history at all, uh, African people. So so to say that forefathers did this, our for there were forefathers that fought, that tried, did everything right. But the power of the people that came into Africa was more than the power. You know, it, it, uh, the Bini kingdom, they had to go back. The British had to go back and, and bring more superior arms than the ones they had before they were able to defeat the Bini kingdom. So how can you say that the forefathers of the people from uh, uh, Bini, Edo people, that they didn't fight? No, you can't no, say that. I didn't say they didn't fight. I said we we're busy fighting each other. If there have been... No, no, let, that's the reason. That's not the reason. But, but the, reason. the reason... See, I gave my reason and I said yeah. if the Southeast as a whole was united in one when they came and they were with the... But they Edo don't have people. that kind of structure. They don't have that kind yeah, of... but that's my point, though. That's my point. Foreign and foreign and entities were coming the in. Government. They were still fighting each other, competing against each other. They were fighting. They were not fighting each other. That was not why they, they were. Happen. They had they were, a Republican system. Now, the people... Okay, I, I will have provide structure. evidence now. You to, no, you have to read this. You have to read this before you say certain things. The people like... Uh, Rudolph, to... Rudolph, remember, Rudolph, remember when uh, Mazu Wozoke came here and was talking about... Zenazo. Do you remember my pushback? Can you guys all remember when I said are you speaking for Anambra people? Because where I come from, we don't have Nzenazo and I still say it. Yeah. So so you're right. So so what I'm saying, forefather said, the thing is mm. this um history is, is wide and big, and and uh, I struggle to teach African history in one semester to people who don't know anything. And you have to tell them from the beginning, it's different from different countries, even within the same country. The Bini Kingdom, Edo should be an example for you. This is the empire that existed for many years before the Europeans came. They were dealing with the Europeans and they fought and they lost. Because they, 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 I, I read it, they made guns even. But the reason why they made the guns they made didn't expand as much because they didn't have enough people and they were busy selling people as slaves too. They were selling people that could be inventing those guns and manufacturing more guns right. to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. I read it and I've diagnosed with the problem of our people. And that's why I keep saying when you when we don't we we, we read the history but we miss the critical things that made the difference. All right we can we can get the conversation hey, uh, sorry uh, uh Rudolf, what I wanted to just add is that you see uh, so far that the Igbo communities operate as autonomous communities. There's no one that governs all. Every Igbo community or village operates as an autonomous community. So you you don't when you say these things, you are any Igbo person listening to you will know that you don't know the you don't know what you're talking about because there's no central command for Igbo and say, okay, this is how we're going to do things. There's nothing like that. And you see the system that you know is totally different. Listen to what Rudolph is. That's actually the truth. There's no time that Igbos were sending their brothers because they are so that they don't they, they, no we never had that, that uh, and, and to say that Edo people were busy selling their brothers that's why they no, 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 so they were selling human beings fellow black people okay, not so yeah, Edo. that was why they didn't build arms you know that's not that's no they did build they built they didn't have enough spread the reason why it didn't match the japanese one or okay, other groups i recommend a book for you to read it's mm. called the collapse how countries grew up, grew to become big, how others didn't make it, how others are small. 
it's more than what you're saying you know don't if i read that book i feel i'll get a different lesson from it because yeah, yeah, what should. i look out for is different from yeah. what you see that's the problem with the look way we interpret things collapse just google it you just mm. read it you'll be amazed all right